All right, so one thing that I haven't talked a lot about on my channel that I need to start doing more, according to you guys, is talk about bands. You're in a band, you wanna grow a fan base, you wanna figure out how to communicate with the rest of your group in order to get your marketing and your branding and your social stuff locked in. You wanna grow, obviously. People think that I only deal with producers and rappers, for example, and that couldn't be further from the truth. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to take your band to the next level. Stay tuned. What's going on guys, Adam Ivey, sellmusic.com, here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies to help transform that passion for making music into a legitimate business that's gonna provide you with freedom and fulfillment, two of the most important things in life in general. Bands, a group of people, the name itself, banding together to make music together, to be able to perform it together, to be able to get the results together. One thing that I see time and time again is bands that are coming to me, Adam, we need to be able to grow. Adam, I don't know what to do. Adam, I'm the lead person and nobody else cares. Where do you start? What are some tips? What are some tricks to get you moving in the right direction? So in this video, I'm gonna break all of that down and it really starts with establishing roles. Who's gonna be the team captain? Who cares about the marketing stuff? Who is going to be delegated certain tasks that are based on their skill sets? Not everybody's gonna be a great writer. Not everybody's gonna be a great media person when it comes to photos and videos and all that stuff. So you need to develop those roles and having a team captain so you can keep, uh, you know, the, the old saying, there's too many cooks in the kitchen. You wanna have one person that can kind of overlook everything, really care and have skin in the game and then delegate that to the other bandmates. If you have a band of two, three, four, five and beyond, it's going to be easy to be able to go through and have a heart-to-heart, -heart, no different than you have rehearsals, have a meeting about marketing. Hey, what do you enjoy doing? Hey, do you know how to do video editing? Hey, do you know how to do photo editing? Hey, can you help with the organization of our marketing structure? This all is super important when you're taking a band and turning them into a marketing machine. Uh, one thing that we need to talk about here is the person who cares the most, the person who's the captain, the person who's gonna be guiding everybody needs to also be an accountability partner. So if you don't want anything to do with marketing, be very honest about that because if you go in and you're like half stepping, you're going to kind of bring the rest of your band down. Also, if you're um, doing the team captain type role in this all and you're kind of managing the marketing stuff through delegation, you also wanna understand what people's strengths are, what people's weaknesses are so that you're not trying to get everybody involved they're not interested and then ultimately you take everything on because let me let me tell you trying to take everything on after you're looking at everybody to help you and then they're not is going to be one way the band's going to break up pretty quickly because that hostility and that frustration is going to show so make sure that you establish roles uh, delegate those tasks and then have somebody to be a leader the next thing i want to talk about is what i call the ubi the unique band identity what differentiates you from everybody else are you a derivative of somebody else are you highly influenced by another band or act cool but what sets you apart from the rest what other personalities within the group whether it's a three-part band a five-part band a 12-part band uh, what is going to set you apart as far as your brand aesthetic, your narrative? How are you going to deliver your music to the people in a way that makes you remember them? There's differences between Led Zeppelin and Metallica and Creed for that matter that you need to have something that really sets you apart. Is the lead person uh, boisterous? Is the lead person quiet and mysterious? It's, it's kind of like the boy bands from the 90s. Everybody had their own personality. It was almost like trading cards because one person in the audience would really like that person. Another person would really like that person. And the voices that are coming through your accounts can be everybody it doesn't just need to be one person so that you know oh chad posted that that's chad's personality oh travis or you know whatever generic name inserted here is going to be able to push that content push that narrative to where it all pieces together and then when you're out and about when you go out and you're buying merch and maybe you know each person has a different uh shirt or different piece of gear you go out there and you kind of start building fan bases within your own fan base as a band. So that UBI, that unique band identity, super important. Uh, everything from the color schemes on your Instagram to how you present yourself live when you're, when you're gigging, all of this stuff ties back into your brand aesthetic, your brand narrative, and that's what sets you apart. So we have the UBI, we have the roles established, now what, right? Content scheduling is gonna save your butt, right? If you're five people, four people, six people, 12 people, like I mentioned, you can set those roles up, you can have a content schedule so that you can have deadlines just like a day job. And I know that you guys might be turned off by the fact that I just compared this to a day job, but when you have that organization and that structure, that's really when start, things start moving ahead in the right way. So many times bands come to me and they're like, hey, can you manage me? Hey, I need a manager. Hey, do you know anybody that would manage us and push us forward and be a, you, you get what I'm saying. Half the times I'm like, okay, you're just getting started. You're five grown men or women, like it doesn't matter who comprises the band, but I'm like, you're adults. 
you can do a lot of these tasks yourself. I think a lot of times we romanticize the music making and we'll go to rehearsals, we'll go get drunk, we'll party together while we're making music, but then the marketing side is unsexy. It looks like work, it looks like a day job. It's not something that you wanna kind of associate your lifestyle with because you worked so hard and you're working so hard to get away from the day job that you don't want anything that looks like a nine to five. You don't want to do admin work, clerical work, I get it. Marketing can be fun because if you do marketing right, then more people listen to your music. If you do marketing right, more people will actually care. They'll show up to your gigs. You'll get more opportunities to be at festivals, to be at uh, you know live performances, you name it. Obviously right now, there's not as many live gigs, but before you know it, as you're building, building up, those are gonna come back. It's not an if, it's a when. So uh, make sure that you're delegating your stuff together, getting that content strategy outlook all kind of narrowed in. And so you say, okay, Instagram every other day. Okay, every other day we're gonna do Twitter and then a YouTube post once a week. It doesn't have to look like that. I'm just kind of brainstorming here with you guys, but having that content strategy, then you can delegate those different tasks. Hey, we need to edit this video. Hey, let's shoot this. Hey, your brother has a camera, right? Maybe he can come in on a Saturday and then we can get this structured out to where now next thing you know, your content strategy is moving forward. People are finding you and things are feeling really good. And that's when you get excited about marketing. In the comments below, let me know if you're in a band, what kind of music you make, how long you've been doing it, what frustrations you have have that I can address in future videos. I'm making a list of all the different things that you guys are suggesting and I'm gonna make a video just for those things. So let me know in the comments below because your voice is heard. That's how I make new content here on this channel. Speaking of new content, watch this video. Recent video is going to help you move forward in the right direction. Come connect with me over on Instagram and if you haven't yet, make sure to join the channel family by clicking that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.